so growing up in, in San Francisco, um, I didn't realize it at the time, but I had, my, my mom exposed me to a lot of different things that really, now looking back on it, built me to, to who I am. She put me in boxing classes, she put me in gymnastics, she put me in ballet, which I hated, she put me in uh, arts camps, all sorts of things um, that really exposed me to my own skills that I didn't know about um, and mentors and role models and other people to connect to. And, and when I got to Ashland, um, what I learned by observation as well as from the young people and their families was that none of those options existed for them. And uh, the result of those, that lack or that vacuum was um, what would happen for anybody in the absence of, of options, which is to do whatever you can get your hands on. And if there's no job opportunity, if there's no place to play sports or no place you feel safe recreating, um, you get into trouble. Really to the credit of, of my boss, Captain Nidefer, who's continued to carve out space in this agency, agency for me to exist, feels like an acknowledgement of the work uh, and the value of it. And that, uh, that's big. <laughs> um, but also, I think the work that that I put in with those kids starting 14 years ago to get the Reach Ashland Youth Center built and the lengthy process that that took to really advocate for that big $23 million beautiful building to get built um, was a process that I'm really proud of because I think it's symbolic of what I continue to believe in, which is relentless pushing <laughs> and not giving up and um, and fighting for something that you think uh, is right.